Today's topic is the Community Services Building. Now, a little brief history about that. Uh, just a little over three years ago, uh, everyone knows KYOT was burnt to the ground. I still maintain that this was a case of arson. Uh, two attempts had been made in the prior years to try to burn the building down. And the third one, well, they succeeded. They only burnt the building. They burnt one building down, but they really didn't burn our resolve and our efforts to rise up from the ashes, like they say. So following that, that tragedy, uh, council uh, started looking at how do we rebuild almost right away. Now, the insurances that we had for the building only gave us somewhere around half a million dollars, nowhere near enough uh, in today's uh, building costs. So to build a proper building, what do we need to do? We started talking with Health Center. Health Center looked at some of the uh, the funding options or uh, availabilities that they had through uh, Health Canada. And they came in with quite a bit of money. I'm not sure the exact amount. Our economic development through uh, the AIF fund, Aboriginal Initiative Fund, they, uh, they found some pockets of money there for uh, economic uh, infrastructure. So some monies were used from there. Uh, other monies were allocated through uh, Indigenous Services Canada. Uh, you see, because of the pandemic, now we're starting to see a rise in all material, all construction material costs. So a building right now that we had slated over uh, about 3.4 million is now a little over $4 million. And this is where Indigenous Services Canada decided to kick in the difference. So the building is going up uh, for the benefit of the community. As a matter of fact, groundbreaking will be tomorrow, uh, Thursday the 21st, uh, for, for, the, for the community services building. Now, this was a point of contention again with certain members on Facebook. And tell you honestly, it's always the same group. Uh, now the same group is going out and saying there was no consultation and uh, some are even talking about blocking the project uh, because of a lack of consultation. Uh, they forget to tell you, last year, June 1st, 2020, all the information on the building, the plans, the costs, uh, you know, what services are going to be in the building, were sent out to all community members. So... If anybody attempts to block the project and we lose the funding, I guarantee you that we will put up their names and I'll let the community take it up with them. You'll have lost a building for your youth, uh, young mothers, uh, social programs of all kinds. And for what? Because of a small group decided this is what they want. You see, the building was already there. We got the funding to build bigger and better, and it's slightly off from where the original building was. And there's other things slated for that. Building a park for the kids in a nice, safe environment. What is wrong with that? Ask that group on Facebook, please, don't let them just run away with the conversation, challenge them, ask them. Ask them what their reasoning really is because now they're, they're saying that I'm playing politics. Oh, how convenient this building is going up just before the election. This has been in the plans for three years. And now they're playing politics with this. I see it as a benefit to each one of you. Your kids, your grandkids will benefit from it for many, many years to come. In the end, that's really what it comes down to. Not who's going to benefit politically. So let's just take a deep breath and let's look at this uh, as this project. This project is a benefit to the community. 
people were advised, given the information, and yet this group is still not satisfied. Anyways, I wish it were different, but unfortunately this is what we got. I'm moving ahead. It's a positive step for the community. I'm looking at looking at this project as nothing but that. A benefit to all of you. So I appreciate your attention today and hope you look favorably on this. And uh, stay healthy, stay safe. Now I'll go on. Oh, no.